guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a tag video. So in this tag video, we'll be discussing about five brands that I've never bought from but I'm interested in buying from. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. Who are new here my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle so if you enjoy these kind of videos do consider subscribing click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos so this tag video is actually started out by Lisa from luxury and life in the middle um, I believe Corinne did a video after that so Corinne from Mary Lux actually tagged me in this video so thank you for tagging me uh, I'm very excited about this topic actually so we'll just get right into it so if you've watched my previous videos and vlogs you'll know that I just came back from Japan and I do have upcoming trips to Europe and Korea as well uh, planned in this year obviously in Japan I picked up some items if you've watched the previous videos you'll know what it is so I would say that Miu Miu is definitely one of the brands that I wanted to purchase from but because I'm filming this video after my Japan trip, I can't put Miu Miu in this category anymore. So I have another five brands that I'm really interested in and I'm going to share it with you. The first brand is none other than Goyard. I'm going to make a beeline for Goyard in Paris if I can. According to my friend who just came back from Paris, the lines are crazily long. So I'm not sure if I can even get into the store but I'm definitely going to try. So there are two bags in particular that I'm really eyeing for. One being the Saint Louis. GM Tote. This one is the rather flimsy one but it's the larger one. I've read some reviews and comments online that if you actually get the Saint Louis GM Tote in Paris, it comes with the additional toiletry pouch that is inside which I think is a very nice touch. I'm not sure if it comes in other countries. So in Singapore, we do have one Goyard store and that's located at Takashimaya. I'm not sure if they do come with the inner pouch but I can definitely head down to the store to ask. I definitely will make a trip down to the store in Singapore here just to compare prices as well because Goya is, is a rather mysterious brand. I would say they don't have prices uh, tagged online so they are just trying to keep everything rather mysterious. There's like a cloud shrouded in this brand itself so I'm, I'm not very sure about the pricing yet. Uh, but I'll definitely check and let you know. So yes, the Saint Louis GM is one of the totes that I'm eyeing. The other tote that I'm eyeing is actually the smaller one, which is uh, the Anju tote, I believe. It's, that's what it's called. So it's reversible. One side is in leather, one side is in canvas. That's why the pricing might be slightly higher. I'm not sure because I really don't know about the prices here. I have not decided on the colorway that I want for both of these bags. I'm not even sure if I'm able to find it uh, in Paris either. I tried looking for it in Japan, but they have zero. I went down to the Goyard store to ask about the totes, especially the limited edition Clairvoy ones because they're so pretty. It's like in this grey and then I really wanted the light grey and green colour or the pink is fine as well. I just didn't really like the blue. They just didn't have any totes, like any. It was zero. They said that all the people in China were like buying up all the totes. So that's why there's like currently none in stock. Hopefully there will be some in Paris but I have to be prepared that the lines are going to be long. So definitely need to make some time for it that shopping day to happen. The second brand that I'm very interested in is Kate. So I really like the Kate bag, specifically the Amelia tote bag. Is it because it has my name? I think partly, partially. <laughs> because it's just nice to have a bag that is named after you know uh, but I really like this tote bag it's fully lined in leather the only thing about this bag is that it's top handle I have not decided what colorway I really want this bag in do I want it in like half leather, half raffia? I'm not sure either. So that's why I'm still holding off on it. Maybe they will come up with other leather colors that I'm interested in. But yes, that is one of the bags that I'm interested in from Kate. In terms of pricing, I think Kate is on the slightly higher end of the mid-range luxury brands. So that's just something to take in mind. If I can, I'm also going to link the prices down below. Um, I believe they range from like different e-commerce websites so you might want to search around to see if 
there are any websites that can give you a better deal depending on which part of the world you're living in. The next brand that I'm very interested in is actually Totem. So Totem has the tea lock bag that I'm very very close to getting. For a couple of weeks before I flew to Japan, I was searching for the Totem bag on Farfetch or like Netapote. They didn't have it in stock, they only have it in stock in their Totem website. I was this close to getting it. I decided to hold off because if I can purchase it on Farfetch and gain some Farfetch points, I would rather do that or even Natapote or Louisa Gioroma. It's just that on the website itself, they don't have a point system. So I feel like I can just get it on like a third party website. I think I would save a little bit of money that way. The Totem Tea Lock bag is actually a top handle bag. You can shoulder carry as well. I think right now it comes in all your standard neutral colors. They have black, they have camel, they have white. And they come in two different leather types. One is the smooth leather and then the other one is like a grain leather. The one that I'm most interested in is actually the black smooth leather one because it comes in gold hardware. I think some of the bags come in silver hardware but I'm only interested in the gold hardware one. I'm interested in the smoother leather because the Loewe puzzle that I have actually is also in the smooth leather and it's holding up so well and I just really really love the leather on it. So I thought that I would give the Totem one a go as well but just that I haven't got it but you know if I ever see it on Farfetch or Netapote and it's on sale I'm definitely going to get it. Pricing wise, even without a sale, it's really good. I think it's very affordable for what it is. So definitely something that I'm seriously considering and eyeing. The fourth brand that I want to talk about is Polen. So Polen is a Parisian brand. I feel like if I'm in Paris, I might check out their actual flagship store. If they have it there, I haven't really done any research on it. I've just been resisting on buying Polen bags simply because I have a lot of other bags that I can use right now <laughs> and I feel like I don't really need a bag from Poland but are they cute? They are very cute. The one that I'm most interested in is called the Numero New Mini in the mini size. It's shaped like a dumpling. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Beyond the Vines bag. They have like a similar dumpling shaped bag uh, but just that the Poland one is in leather. It's very nice. I saw a client carrying it actually and it really looks very nice on her. They also do a whole range of colors including neutrals but I feel like if I'm going to buy like a bag from Poland I might want to get it in a pop of color simply because they have a lot of shades to choose from. The color that I'm most interested in is actually this color called Wheat. It's like a light shade of pale yellow just that they don't do this in the numero new so uh, I don't know maybe one day they will or by the time I hit Paris they might come up with that shade uh, but it's a really really nice pale yellow I feel like I missed out on this pale yellow for the classic flat but I, I don't think I will ever pay classic flat prices for like a yellow bag but I really really want to get it in like a mini bag it's so cute to be honest, the first bag that actually made me interested in the brand Poland was actually their YKE bag. I have no idea how you pronounce it. But it's essentially this bucket basket bag. It's half in leather and half in rattan. Honestly, it's quite impractical. I have no idea how the top bit actually works to secure the bag. But it's not a bag that you'll carry out every day. It's more of like a statementy beach kind of bag. It's very interesting, that's why I clicked on the website because last time Poland wasn't so popular. One day it kind of popped up on my Instagram feed, that's how I got to know about it. And the bag that made me interested was this bag. So that's why I was interested in the brand after that. And then subsequently a lot of YouTubers started talking about it. Um, then we got to know the bag a little bit more and then they came out with a lot more bags. So yes. If I see the Numero Nuve in the wheat color, I'm quite sure I'm going to get it. <laughs> Just because it's cute and it's in the shade of yellow that I want. So the, on to the last brand that I'm going to talk about is none other than Acne. If you have watched my videos, you will know that I absolutely adore the Acne Musubi mini bag. 
I have been talking and lusting about this bag for a long long time just that I have not put the plug I feel like it's the same for Poland like I'm not sure if I want to get like this range of bags simply because I have other bags that I can use and I honestly do not need so many bags <laughs> resist I would say that if you're starting out your luxury collection and you feel like the other brands are too expensive I would highly recommend you look at any any Musubi bag as a crossbody bag it's so good it has a top handle as well and the leather is so so nice right now they have a store available in Singapore at MBS that you can check out their bags in real life and just touch the leather for yourself it's so so pretty this is going to sound boring but out of all the colors that I've seen I really like the one in camel I just think that it's the prettiest color and the most practical color of all the colorways because this is meant to be like a crossbody bag and you obviously can top handle carry it as well if you're going to crossbody it don't get a light color because of color transfer i'm not sure how well this leather fares in terms of color transfer i feel like black for this bag somehow doesn't really work because you want a slight pop of color for this bag it just looks nicer that way so yes i really really like this bag from acne as well so there you go these are the top five brands that i'm very interested in that i've not purchased from before i'm going to tag some of my lovely youtuber friends down below as well so do check it out if i have not tagged you please feel free to do this tag as well because I think this is such a great topic personally I do have bags from a lot of brands I'm not entirely like loyal to any brand per se I do have my favorites but I really have bags like scattered from all over the brands so I think this tag is a great one because I'm letting you know some of the other brands that are not so common I would say that I'm very very interested in as well if you like this video don't forget to give this video a like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video bye guys